welcome to Six Little Lambs. I am back today with a different type of video. I thought I would do it when I got my six year old for her birthday because I'm on a lot of groups on Facebook and they are always asking for inspiration of what to buy their children for all different types of birthdays. I have four children and what better to share to try and give some people some inspiration of what to get, especially during this lockdown to keep them entertained and things like that. So yeah, that's what this video is today. Renee is six tomorrow, which is absolutely crazy. She is the baby of the bunch and I just feel like her baby years went nowhere and I've been robbed. <laughs> Actually makes me a little bit sad. But yeah, um, her birthday video is probably going to go up before this, but when kids are opening presents, they don't want to be looking at a camera and going, oh, look what I got to give people ideas. They just open them and shred them open. And that's that. So I thought I'd do this video now before I wrap them. And you can watch this the week later, maybe. So yeah, if you haven't seen Renee's birthday vlog, go back and check it out. Um, I'm going to start off with the bigger things because they're right next to me. And then I'll move on to the little things. We are currently in lockdown. It is January the 27th right now. Um... So we had to get most of the things delivered from Amazon online and Jo, as, who is our designated shopper, has been picking things up from like Poundland, Home Bargain, One Below, B&M. Um, he has picked up little bits for the other kids to give her as gifts because usually they get some money to go and spend around our local shopping area and pick little gifts for it but obviously they haven't been allowed to do that so he's just been out and picked up a bunch of things they can pick out like it's a little shop and wrap them for it as their gifts off them um and that's what we're kind of doing there are a few things missing from this because i'm still waiting for them to be delivered they're coming between 4 30 and 7 30 tonight so i guess i'll just add them in a little bit later on let's get started because i've done enough gabbing so first things is we got here this push chair it is a cosato is it cosato is that how you pronounce it a push chair um, it is an older years one that goes from, I think it's five to nine years, maybe. Um, she does have a pram already, but she doesn't really like it. She doesn't like to use it. She doesn't like to push it out in the street. She says it's not a real pram. It's a baby Annabelle twin one for her baby Annabelle dolls, but she doesn't like it. So she wanted a real pram. <laughs> By real, she meant one that turned from a lie down to a, a sit down. So we got this as one of her main presents because if you've seen our previous videos, we got Ebony a iPod for her seventh birthday, but I feel like Renee is still very, very young in the head as well compared to what Ebony was even at the age of six and I didn't want to overwhelm her with electronics. She's already got an iPad and she uses Matthew's mobile phone a lot. And I didn't want to really get computers and things like that for her. So this is why she's got lots of toys. Um, this one is an L set dress. I'm not going to unwrap it because it's an absolute nightmare to get back in the packaging. This was picked by me but purchased by my sister. My sister needed an idea of something to get her. And I had no idea of f f to what to suggest. And this was in my Amazon basket. So I said to my sister, you can go ahead and get her that and I'll pick her something different. So my sister got this sent to the house. Uh, it comes with a, a piece of hair, a wand, a crown, and the Frozen 2 dress. I have got a picture of Renee wearing this when she tried it on. I will add it in somewhere up here so you can see what it looks like. Um, that was around... 23 pounds i think on amazon um it's not actually the official frozen dress but um it's a lot nicer <laughs> um i got renee this she has wanted this for such a long time i actually bought her a harley quinn costume before and it was the wrong one um this is the one that she wanted with the daddy's little monster on the t-shirt um and the shorts and the jacket the bomber jacket that says property of joker she's absolutely obsessed with harley quinn and frozen and miraculous so um 
we just kind of get it all the dressing ups that she wants again just from amazon that was about 25 to 27 pounds to go with that i made the most stupid purchase ever i bought it a bat but i wasn't that stupid because i didn't buy the proper bat i'm sorry about the glare i'm using the um a ring light and i still haven't quite figured out how to position it so uh yeah so it's a blow up bat it's an inflatable bat so it won't hurt none of us but she's gonna have a fine time with this uh, it says good night and it's got like loads of little writing on it it's nothing to do with that it's just that little bat thing it'll be holly for the day and the thing that i'm waiting to come later is a pair of um doc Doc Martin style um, boots in white and black. Um, they are coming later, so I will include them later on. She'll probably wear them with that. So this, this was on Amazon. This was £22, I think. Renee has a lot of dolls. She has baby Bonds, baby annabelles she's got the lover bella boy i think it's called lover boo or boo i don't know lover bella boo boy anyway um she's got all of the baby annabelles that you can get like starting from my first baby and everything and she said she wants a reborn baby she wants a real life baby and this is what she got so it's not one of the top notch reborn babies it's not one from like Mary Shortle for £300. It is a cheaper version. This one was around £60. Um, I wasn't willing to pay £300 for a doll that she might throw down the stairs and break. So for now, for her first one, we got her this, which I think is actually really cute. It's a silicone doll. It's not soft silicone, but it's cute. You know, it's got movable limbs, it's got mohair, it's just got a protective net on to, to uh, thing going. It's got a, a dummy or a pacifier if you are from the USA. Um, so yeah. Um, apparently on Amazon it says you can bathe here and then the instructions say you can't. So I don't think she's going to like that about it because she actually picked this one herself. Um, for the... For, mostly for the thing that she could bathe it but she can she can use baby wipes and things like that on it but it's really cute and it weighs four pounds so it's quite heavy but it is ideal for an air pram i think it actually looks like a real baby which is crazy scary scary things but that's what i always wanted little girls for all these little cute dolls and things let me fix that dummy and that come with a bottle, a little blanket, and a birth certificate. So not bad for £60. So with that, I picked up these from Tesco in with my delivery shop. I kid you not, newborn baby nappies. 92p. And I know they're not brands up like Pampers and that because I don't need to be paying that price for dolls. But when my kids were born, I was paying about eight pounds for a pack of these just because the name is pampers i mean i don't know about the quality and stuff like that but 92p That's mental for 24 is it 24 yeah 24 24 nappies 92p so she'll be super happy with that and to share with ebony as well because they've got lots of dolls that way again i'm not going to take off some packet because it will be a nightmare to get back in but i will add a little clip in up here so you can see what it is it is going back to the 90s um who remembers dance mats used to be able to get them in the likes of b&m and things like that for about 15 pounds well that is not the case no more they don't sell dance mats that you plug into the television for 15 pounds anymore this was 70 pounds or 79 which is a a little bit pricey for the dance mat that plugs into the telly but it comes with hundreds of games you can play games you can do aerobics you can do dance you can do yoga does it say yoga you can do arcade games it's like a little miniature arcade system comes with these two remotes like away one minute because somebody's coming in. sorry about that renee's just trying to break through so i've got all the gifts on the table 
So yeah, it comes with two wee type remotes. Um, she can, she, she's gonna have so much fun on that. And although it sounds pricey for dance mats, for things that you can do on it and keeping it occupied during lockdown, I think it's it's worth it. We set it up the other day to make sure it was working and it was me and Jen playing on it for ages. So it, it is definitely gonna be worth it. It's got all like the, the 90s and 80s kids games on it. So definitely worth it. So these last few bits were picked up by Joe from b and one below Poundland and he's picked up Alfie from our, a shop in our local area I'm not sure of the name of it so I'm not going to be able to mention where it is but I suppose you can get those type of things anyway anyway he picked it up this frozen doll she did get two of these for Christmas one off her granddad one off us but she needed this one to complete the collection how much was that Joe? Uh, that was eight quid that was eight pounds in B&M Reduced from 12. Reduced from 12 because they've got a sale, like a Christmas toy sale on at the moment. Um, this is a frozen thing because I don't know what it is. It's, your own it's a three in one crystal set. So, uh, looking at the instructions, it looks like you mix some powder, let it, it dry, paint it, and it turns into like little ornaments. Sure but she'll <laughs> love that um because she likes getting creative they have a lot of creative stuff in with their home learning things so she'll really like that is makeup if you haven't already seen our birthday day vlog we are doing a spa day theme birthday for her to get told them to pick some makeup bits up to incorporate into the day so we picked up these nail varnishes lip glosses uh, I don't know if that's eyeshadow, but it's eyeshadow palette. And that, excuse you. Sorry. <laughs> that was £5 in B&M. He also picked up this one, which is a unicorn makeup set. And that has got eyeshadows, lip glosses, and nail varnishes in it. And it looks like once you take it out of this box, all of these slides slide round into this unicorn, which is perfect because she'll be able to fit that in her little handbag that she carries around. That was $5.99 in B&M. He also picked up these from B&M, which I think are an absolute bargain. Pajamas for £4. Yeah, she'll probably get these tonight to wear to wake up in. Track suit that Joe picked up from a shop in our area. The maker's called Miss Tiffany. And I know it's not to everyone's style. And Joe actually didn't think it'd be to my style, but I actually like these. I just oh I just can't touch it. <laughs> Cause it goes through me. <laughs> it's an um like a velvet feel. It's is it navy or is it grey? It's charcoal. It's charcoal, it looks navy. Um, she loves black, the colour black, everything black. Oh, that's going through me. Um, <laughs> she'll love that. That was £10. Because, you know, you can't go to any shops to buy her anything proper, but they do click and collect in the shops in our area to pick things like this up. Um, so, also from B&M, Jo picked up these R slippers. These were £4. Um, she's wanted these since before Christmas and we've never been able to get a hair initial. So she's going to be super happy that she's got these. I think they're gorgeous for £4. Absolute bargain. Now this bag is the bag of randoms that Jo has picked up from like the palm shop and one below little cheap niggledy knacks for the other three children to pick from to give her as gifts because it's what they'd usually do. Um, this. You may wonder why we got our six year old uh, a stand that goes in a car when she hasn't got a car. <laughs> I asked Joe to pick up a tripod. There was no tripod, but he seen this and he thought she could stick it to her makeup desk so she can stick her iPod or Matthew's phone to it while she does her TikToks or she makes fake YouTube videos where she records herself, pretends that she's got a channel because I won't let her have her own YouTube channel just yet. This little 
thing. It's called a sequins. Ebony got one of these off the Tooth Fairy when she lost their tooth and Renee was really upset that the Tooth Fairy didn't bring her one too, even though she didn't lose her tooth. So Ebony said, I'll get you one for your birthday. So Jo went ahead and picked one up for Ebony to give it as a present. And it's like got sequins on the face and you can brush it up and it makes a scary face. <laughs> Um, you can decorate it with little gems. That, that was one pound in one below, which is just a little cute thing, which I know we, we all know she'll love. This, these are trending at the moment, uh, jits or something like that. They're quite a lot of money on eBay and things like that. Um, Joe picked this up from one below. It turns into like, I don't know if you can see at the back there, like snakes and cubes and She'll like playing with that while she's doing the learning because she likes to fidget a lot while she's learning. So it'll keep her hands busy. An Elsa banana brush. As you can see, she's gone into a big craze of Frozen just before Christmas. So Jo picked this up off one of the kids. Candle. Number six at Sings. That, was that in one below as well, Jo? Uh, yeah. One below. We picked up this Wyrams squishy fashion toy, which is like a ring and it's got a cat on the top of it. So when she wears it, the cat will be like sticking out of a knuckle, which she'll love because she loves cats. So we'll be doing some party games tomorrow as well to keep them like, you know, entertained and happy. So we've just picked up like a group of random things to give away as prizes. He's got some yo-yos, which a red and green one. He's got one of these drooping unicorns, which the yeah, kids... You downgraded those 60 yo-yos there. They light up yo-yos from the 60s. Oh, sorry. Retro downgraded yo -yo. them. Let's start that one again. He got some retro yo-yos that light. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> light up. <laughs> what we are when we were kids. So... Yeah, that's what we played. <laughs> yeah. Um, he got this pooper corn drooplings. They got these before Christmas. It's like a little teddy bear on a keychain. Um, shaped into a style of poop. Shaped into a style of poop. Um, he got this squishy, which I think is absolutely adorable. You put, you put it inside its little case. You know, it's called the outer body squishy. It's, it's, it's a, not. It's a squishy that goes inside the body to outer body. Have it's called a one? swap costume. That's it, yeah. A swap costume squishy, so you can put this inside the sort of costume, which I think is absolutely adorable. And I might actually add that with her gifts from the kids rather than give it as a prize because there's enough prizes there. But that was a pound and one below, and I think she'll absolutely love them. And if she doesn't get it as a prize, she'll flip. Um, a mini cupcake surprise. Apparently, the doll popped out of it. I don't know how that works, but yeah. For a pound, they'll love it. They love all the like little tatty stuff like that. Some silly string. Jo said to spray over the head when she wakes up in the morning. That is not happening on my carpet upstairs. Um, that uh, um, highlighters, that's for the game. Not going to put up some batteries for the dance mat. Um, as I say, there is still some things due to be delivered. Actually, one of them just arrived, the Frozen doll. Um, there is still the boots to be delivered a little bit later on. If I don't manage to record it, I'll add a little picture in of them. Um, but yeah, that's it. So if you haven't already checked out Renee's birthday video, go back and check that out. And yeah if you enjoyed this video today please give us a huge thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell we upload new videos every thursday with bonus uploads during the week see you again soon bye